Good evening, YouTube. So, I am uh, just got home from work here, cracked a refreshing frosty adult beverage, and uh, waiting on Kayla to get home from the gym, and I figured I'd make a quick video. Uh, try and maybe cover some of the uh, viewer comments and questions, uh, some of the more relevant ones, and, uh, and so, anyways, I'm just going to run down the list here real quick and see if I can't, uh, you know, make sure... Make sure you guys are satisfied that uh, you know all of your questions and concerns are are dealt with to some degree at any rate. Uh, so, first question: Noah David asks, "Did I do the pinstriping on the hood of my '68 Ford myself?" I uh, don't know how many of you have noticed, but I did get pinstriping done. It's one of my I absolutely love pinstriping, but. The answer, quite simply, is no. Um, so, Kayla and I drive this pickup. We're actually, uh, you know, this is a daily driver. I've been driving it every day. Yes, I am garaging it, mostly as a result of uh, just it's a little easier to start. It's got some compression now, and it's got some cam, and it likes the, uh, likes the warmer garage better. It will start in the cold. I've actually gotten it to start down to, uh, I don't know, uh, about 15 below, 15, 16 below, something like that. It's been pretty uncharacteristically cold this time of year. Um, but, so what had happened was, Kayla and I took this pickup and we drove it up to the Black Hills, South Dakota, went to Deadwood, cool Deadwood nights, uh, more specifically. And uh, there's a pinstriper there named uh, Cousin Jack, or he calls himself Cousin Jack. And I've been wanting to get something pinstriped for a long time, and I finally had this pickup up up there, and I decided that I just I had to have him pinstriped. And the guy is absolutely amazing. Uh, stood there while talking to people, you know, got nearly perfect symmetry with the with the pinstriping. I mean, something that I could have never handled myself. Uh, and as a some kind some kind of a reference if it tells you anything about the job that this guy does. There, right there, he signed his name. Got this done in 2017. That's how big he was able to, uh, to, make, that, uh, to make that signature, or how small, rather. So, the guy does phenomenal work. Um, travels around, just kind of does this for a living, him and his wife. Uh, all over the United States. He does a wonderful job. It's fantastic. Would definitely recommend him for any of your pinstriping needs. Look him up. Cousin Jack. K-U-Z-N-J-A-C-K. Uh, at any rate. So, that's probably the more in-depth one. Uh, so, uh, Ed Ward says that he had heard that I had discovered oil and was now living in Hawaii with a harem of beautiful women. Uh, if you watch any of my current videos, you know that that is definitely not the case. Lately it's been uh, well below zero in Montana. Um, I'm still living in Montana, and unless your idea of a harem of beautiful women is two gorgeous dogs, a beautiful wife, and a whole bunch of old boards, um, no, that's definitely not the case. I mean. So, at any rate, uh, no, no, definitely not living in a harem of beautiful women uh, in Hawaii. And I didn't discover one. Sure wish I had. So, also relevant, Jeremy Kostelnik wanted to know if this 68 Ford that I've been working on, if this is the same one that uh, we used to see in the lineup back in the day. The answer is no. I actually bought this pickup uh, from a guy for about 700 bucks. Um, we do still have that black and white Ford, the 68 Ford uh, that was Kayla's, but uh, it's still kind of on the back burner. Moved into town, you know, like I told you before, everything kind of got sidelined. And I ended up with this pickup. I love this body style, and I've been working on this one to kind of build it up for about the last three years. Uh, so no, it's not the same 68 Ford. Uh, this is a completely 
different one than you guys have seen before. I uh, get a lot of questions about Enid. Uh, Mr. OMG and let's see, Andy Ruzanellos uh, in particular asked, you know, uh, Andy asks what happened to the toys at the shack. Uh, Mr. OMG wants to know, do you still have the feel of cars and trucks? Yes, short answer, once again, yes we do. A lot of those, or some of them, I should say, have gotten weeded out and uh, some of them have not and are just kind of backburnered. Enid has become kind of one of those places where we store vehicles that we don't have a long-term plan for anymore now. And uh, I go out there on occasion, I'll take you guys with at some point, but uh, I'm not going to do it while it is currently well below zero. Uh, wind chills this week are supposed to stay in the negative 20 to negative 40 range and it's just really making my ambition level go way down as far as doing anything outside of the garage. Uh, let's see. Um, had a couple of other questions that I was wanting to make sure I covered. Oh, uh, Heartland 96A asks, am I still working at the sugar processing plant? I would encourage you strongly to watch my uh, update and reintroduction video all the way through because I go through that stuff in that video. I actually go through a lot of things in that video that I, I don't know if, uh, if I didn't explain it well enough or if people just didn't watch the video all the way through. But no, I am not still working at the sugar processing plant. Go back, watch the video, that'll give you the answers you need. Uh, let's see, Tim Basco asks, where did Kayla and I go on vacation? Well, we are probably the most unexciting couple ever because we went to Minot, North Dakota. Yeah, don't have much more of an answer for that. Uh, off in the pickup, went to Minot, spent a few days, enjoyed ourselves, had a great time. It was nice to get out of town. When the weather gets like it is, <clears throat> guy gets uh, just, guy has a tendency of getting really stir crazy, getting really, really sick and tired of just kind of staying around the house. And so, you know, but at any rate, good to get out of town once in a while. Oh, let's see. Super John Deere Tuffy wants to know uh, how many miles the power strokes have on them when I sold them? Um, well, the power stroke. The power stroke that you guys are familiar with would have been the tan and white pickup, the four-door short box that uh, from back at the branch. I actually bought that from mom and dad uh, after we moved into town. Rebuilt it just completely back from the ground up. Uh, and honestly, just kind of got bored with it, I guess. Uh, that one had, it was rolling up on 600,000 miles. Uh, not the original motor, not the original transmission. Um, it was actually the second motor in that pickup. The other power stroke that I had, which you guys never saw, and at this point probably will not, was a 95 four-door long box, uh, one ton. Um, and that one had about 370. Um, and... Still love the pickup. It's just uh, one of the reasons I went to the V10 over the diesels was uh, strictly just maintenance costs. I was not using the diesels the way that I feel that they need to be used to keep them running well. I was only putting on those pickups, uh, you know, three to four thousand miles a year. Whereas conversely, this pickup here in the last three years, I've put uh, we're coming up on close to twenty thousand miles that I've put on this old 68 Ford. Um, so they mostly just sat and, and it didn't make a whole bunch of sense, but still needed a towing pickup. So I got the V10 pickup. If you guys watched the nonsense video of me getting my new GoPro, you will see that. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, yes, that one. Um, two kind of combined questions. Uh, Todd PF and James Egger. Uh, they, uh, well, Todd asks, what kind of mileage does the V10 get? Uh, James Egger says, how do I like the V10? Bet it likes its gas, but it has tons of power. 
Um, I like the V10. It's not as entertaining to drive as the Power Strokes. I miss my old 7.3s. The mileage is absolutely atrocious. And I knew that I was going to be trading that off when... Um, I knew that I was going to be trading trading um, um, maintenance costs for mileage. The uh, the V10 has adequate power. It'll pull what I need on the on the occasions that I need to. It does what I need it to do, um, and it's a full size pickup. So I, I, there's a lot of occasions where I need that. However, it averages right now in the winter where we're letting it idle more. Um, I'm getting somewhere between. 9 to 11 around uh, around town just kind of bebopping around and between 10 to 14 on the highway um, so doable but uh, the big thing is it hasn't cost me a dime since I got the pickup knock on wood here uh, so that was that was the big thing uh, the last question I had Well, sort of the last question I had. Jeremy Kosselnick wants to know if it warms up, can we see a tour of future projects? Absolutely, we can see a tour of future projects in the future. Right now, like I said, it's just really hard to get the ambition to go out and do some videos in 20 below. So it's going to be a bit. Looks like the weather should break here in about a month. Um, I'm hoping that that's the case because I'm... I'm, I'm getting pretty sick of it. Uh, it just got cold and it hasn't warmed up and it snowed and on and on and on. Uh, anybody that lives up here right now, North Dakota, Montana, Minnesota, in the, the northern, the north, north central, northeastern, whatever you call it, uh, states, they will definitely understand. Uh, so, now, on to the last item of business. And here's where we quasi introduce, you know, possibly my next project. So I have had a vehicle um, that's been with me for a very long time, been in a lot of videos, uh, and I still have it. And it's one of my most asked about projects of any of the vehicles that I've got. So I'm uh, going to give credit out to Joshua Hartford and to Redneck Garage and Addison Graff and uh, let me make sure that I haven't missed anybody. I'm sure I have because there's been a lot of people asking about this particular this particular vehicle. Um, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I'm going to let you guys guess because this weekend, as long as the weather is warm enough for me to go out to where I've got it stored and get it out of hibernation, you guys will get to see one of the absolute fan favorites uh, from back in the day, right here in this garage. Uh, so yeah, I'm really curious to see what you guys think that that vehicle might be. Uh, leave your comments on the video, please, by all means. And I'd like to know if you guys like uh, me answering the, uh, the comments and questions in this kind of a format or if you would prefer that I just do it, uh, you know, maybe one or two at a time. Um, you know, we're kind of fine-tuning this still, so so let me know what you think. Um, you know, uh, give me suggestions. Let me know how I can make this better for you. And let's see what you guys think that that, uh, that next project vehicle might be. Uh, until a future video, I hope, to, hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment do all the subscribe-y, YouTuber-y things, and uh, we'll see you again soon.